Hey, welcome to another episode of the Left Time Show Podcast. Here we are, ready to bring you laughter, laughter, laughter. What's Bob. going on? What's going on? My name's Sean. Really? It's Sean? I always get lost after that. You get know. lost at the Left Time Show intro? The intro. I don't know what to do then. We just bring in laughter. Just laughter. Just, just laughter. All right. It's going to be oh. hard to top the last one. Not going to be hard to top. A lot of pressure. Anyway, this is it. Be ready to entertain. Pot down the theme song. Here we go. Deep breaths. <laughs> Real deep breaths. Here we go. <laughs> What's going on? What's happened the last time? <laughs> all right. I'm drinking beer this time. That didn't help at all. Yeah. No just, wine this time or vodka, beer. New beer. Now I'm dizzy and out of breath. Mm-hmm. I got the same old smeared off raspberry ice. We're, they're, they're buying sponsor in our show, right? They're buying it. Yeah. Smeared offs. Send us some cash. All right. So we went to see Pacific Rim this weekend, this that past week, not this weekend. Sometime. We, during the week, I think. I don't know when we saw But anyway, it really, it really is not what... Uh, I thought it was going to be. It, it is what the uh, viewers say it was going to be. It sucked. And they all didn't. I didn't listen to any of them. So. Yeah, suddenly you wanted to go see it all really bad. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Wait, it looked good in the previews, yeah. And they good. all do. Pacific Rim Job. We always thought alien life would come from the stars. But it came from deep beneath the sea, a portal between dimensions in the Pacific Ocean. So we got the star Jax. Jax from uh, Sons of Anarchy. He's the main character in the show. Spoiler alert. Boo hoo hoo. We're going to ruin it for you. So, whatever. It doesn't matter if you ruin a bad movie. I mean, it's not bad. It's all right, but. It doesn't matter. It really has a good premise. Never Mech Warrior, you know. The more realistic, a full featured movie type thing, but it's so ridiculous and hacky. Good special effects, though. Good special effects. Let's Gotta go give it that. It. They tried to inject all kinds of emotions I, into the characters. I love those. Yeah, they're, they had to, they're like inside the top of the ship and they have to move around and the ship mimics their movements like ever it shows them way too much it cuts to the inside of the robots like okay we know how it, the whole thing works because they wanted the, the stars to get more time on screen i guess yeah that's what it is they just have robots and like why would you need to walk through that why you can't be programmed today at the edge of our hope yeah you would think they would have why would they have to be in the robots not in all. the future you right. think they had to have remote it wouldn't. They got drones. They already have drones right now. Remote control. Nobody's driving. Nobody's flying in the drones. Why they have to? They have two people be in the robots because it's two. You can't handle it. Or one person can't handle it. And Jax's robot. What is he? He has a fan in the middle of his chest. What does the fan do? What does the fan do? Yeah, there's always something in, on the chest. I think that's some sort of robot thing you have to have now. But what does the fan do, Standard. though? I guess it cools off or something. Oh, remember, it shoots fire at the end. Remember that? That's the, the incinerator thing. Ah, he sucks. Yeah, there 